on cardigan clothes. Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I am doing the part four of my five part series on cardigan clothes. And I'm very happy with how the last three went. Last three? Yeah, last three. And today I am going to be talking about a fireworks fun with Mikey bunny ears. So this happened on the 4th of November 2017. It's literally still not that dark. Like it's December now and at 4.52pm, that's when Mikey came out. I've got a photo here. I'm not a creepy weirdo and no exact dates because I really don't. But literally now, a year later and a bit more days, it's like pitch black at that time mental as you can tell mikey came out because it's in the title it was really fun so many people were there i met so many amazing people and yeah it was just a really nice time we stayed there for most of the day i think it was quite late okay that really confused me i'm going to tell you a story about fireworks and a story about what Mikey told me, which was really funny, so let's get started. The story about the fireworks, basically, because it was like the 4th of November, people love fireworks <laughs> at that time of year. I think the people who lived opposite them, or something like that, um, was having fireworks in their garden. And we all, like, we all obviously heard them, and... Um, I didn't see it at first. I was stood a bit far away from Mikey, just like minding my own business. I don't know what I was doing. I, I seem to just wander off sometimes because I feel really bad if I stay around them for too long. Is that just me or anybody else? Um, so I like move away and distance myself a bit. And I was just standing there wandering in a firework, like not, not, it wasn't lit. It was like the, oh, the carton cartridge it was in like flew like by me it's literally where it flew where you are now and i was like oh my god and then one of one of the girls who was there was like steph are you okay and then she ran over to mikey and was like a firework nearly hit steph <laughs> and mikey bless him if you ever meet Mikey, or if you've ever met him or anything, he's the cutest person ever. He ran over, like, straight away and was like, Steph, are you alright? And I was just stood there like, yeah, I'm fine. And then he kicked the firework and was like, naughty firework, and walked off. And I was like, bye. <laughs> like, it was just so random. It was so cute the way mikey's running it's the funniest sorry mikey but it just is so yeah that was me nearly getting hit by a firework <laughs> that was an experience thank god it wasn't like i could have like moved and it could have hit me on the head i don't know if that would have really hurt it probably would have um but it's all right i didn't get hit so the second story i'm going to be talking about is Mikey's story that he told us about him and his experiences with fireworks. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's so bad. Basically, Mikey was minding his own business. Um, he was in the bathroom having a jolly old time. And a firework went off. And I'm not going to say what he said. But I'm just going to say, let's say... He was in the right place at the right time because it scared him to death. So, yeah. <laughs> Mike was in the right place at the right time. Well done. Um, <laughs> quickly moving on. That was the day where if you watched that vlog or watched other vlogs, I don't know. I basically bought this umbrella from Primark. It had monkey emojis on it. I used them quite a lot. And I was like, oh, it's Primark, it's cheap. And it was pouring down of rain. So I was like, right, I need an umbrella. So I got this umbrella, took it all the way to Cardin Close. I begged Mikey to keep it. I was like, you can have it. Because I literally left it in my friend's house from the day I bought it to then. It, that was like a few months. And I was like, Mikey, have it. You can have it. I think I jinxed myself. 
who who didn't take it even though that whole day he probably held it more than i have even though i bought it <laughs> shows you how much i used it um he loved that umbrella like a bit mental he could have kept it but he didn't on the way back i was so tired i left it on the train <laughs> whoever found that monkey umbrella i hope you enjoyed it it probably got thrown in the bin or somebody actually took it i hope somebody took it i went back to birmingham then i went back to where i live and i left my umbrella on the train <laughs> we it'll be sadly missed by me and mikey so yeah that was basically it for that day i nearly got a I nearly caught my death. I didn't catch it. It would have hit me. My death nearly hit me. Mikey ran over like, I will save you. <laughs> oh, he's definitely the hero in a movie. <laughs> or like the hero's best mate. Who tries, but... <laughs> oh, gosh. Mikey's kabanging squad. I remember that group chat. <laughs> that was a great group chat. I don't know who made it or how that ever happened, but... Mikey's Kabanging Squad was a great time. That also reminded me that Alice, who is there, hi Alice if you're watching, you probably will be, hi, because this, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, she had a One Direction blanket and, oh, Brooklyn came out that day too. Wow, that changes everything. <laughs> I can't remember Brooke being there, oops. Alice had this blanket that was One Direction. It was the creepiest blanket ever. It was just a normal blanket of One, one Direction, but their faces were really weird. And because she, she had it wrapped round her as well, it was really distorted. Um, but Brooklyn goes, Mikey, she's got a blanket with our faces on it. Mikey's face was like, no way, he ran over and then he was like, ah, 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 One Direction. <laughs> so yeah alice that blanket was amazing um that was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> i don't know what to say that day was great thank god i didn't get hit by a firework <laughs> what a story and yeah i hope you liked it give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already i'm so close to 2k and i would love to get that before my birthday 31st of December remember that last day of the year I know um <laughs> if you're new hi I'm Steph thanks for watching this video um I'm guessing you're a road trip fan if you're watching it or you're just really intrigued as to what is Cardin Close who are these people I'm talking about road trip they're a great boy band search them up follow them on Twitter subscribe to their YouTube watch things that involve them i don't know um <laughs> i'll see you very soon bye